Tom Man 23 here, and today we're going to take a look at set 70811, the Flying Flusher. This is another Lego movie set. This is another two in one build. It has 351 pieces. It retails for $29.99. Uh, it's October 2014. I would suggest going to get this one now because you might be able to find it for $24.99. And. It's really a good value. It's probably not going to be around much longer. It'll probably make it through the holidays and then come 2015, it'll, I'm sure it'll get retired. But anyway, let's take a look at it, guys. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the minifigs. You get three minifigs in this set. You get Plumber Joe right here with the cap. In the middle there is Alfie the Apprentice. And you get Dr. McScrubs. Now, all three of these have really good torsos. I mean, these guys just have blue jeans, but they do have their overalls with their plumber symbol on them. And you get Dr. McScrubs. And if you look close, that is the brick, the brick adjuster's torso and pants. So if you want to build the brick adjuster, you got to get Dr. McScrubs. So we'll look at the back printing. You can see just back scrubs, back overalls, really some cool figs. I really like these figs. Nice facial expressions. And like I said, if you're going to build the, the brick adjuster, I'm pretty sure this is the only set that you can get that torso and those pants. Because you have to have a Dr. McScrubs to build him. So let's take a look at the rest of it. Alright guys, so here is the micromanager you get in this set. And this set as with all movie sets, I think they might all come with a micromanager. I don't really get them. These little things that fly around. This one actually has legs. And the legs fold up. And they go right inside there. If you do it correctly. Just like that. So then he can fly off. He's only got two flick fire missiles. He's got the grabbing hands. Spin it around for you. These pieces are only attached by one stud. But that's it for this one. Not a lot to it. Alright guys, so here is the Portalette. Now you don't get Brixar with this set, but Brixar loves Porta Johns. He loves toilets. So he had to make an appearance or a special cameo in this video. So let's get him out the way and we'll take a look at it. Now this is a Porta John, or otherwise known as a Portalette, or a portable bathroom. But in Louisiana, we call these pots of gold. So it's a pot of gold. Why? Well, because there's a pot and it's full of gold. It's kind of a play on words. There's actually a company down here called Pot of Gold. And these are all over the parade route. Now, I will tell you, there is a little distinction with this set. Is uh, Something's wrong with it. Because if you have any experience with Porta Johns, it's basically a mobile bathroom. And they just set them out on the side of job sites set them out on parade routes whatever but there is the toilet actually has a large I guess you would say refuge container that just collects everything and the way to clean it out is a big truck comes around and vacuum sucks it all and cleans it and then they haul them off and bring them to the next site so that toilet would never actually be backed up needing a plumber but if you did need a plumber this set comes with three of these plungers so you can unclog the toilets so you got the toilet paper in there nice toilet in there I mean it's a pretty good build and I, I gotta wonder if they built this because they needed to figure out how to use these parts because these are the wings of the flying flusher the wings and the tail piece so did they add this as an extra little piece to give you something extra with the set because they needed these pieces for the flying flusher or did they have this in mind and they used these pieces as walls because they knew they were going to be using them either way this is a pretty neat little deal it's a pot of gold I like it what do you guys think so let's keep moving alright guys so here is the I'm gonna call this the main build but this is actually the alternate build you get three instruction booklets in the first one, you're going to build the minifigs and you're going to build the little micromanager. In the second one, you're going to build the flying flusher, which is actually the main build, and you build the porta john or the pot of gold. And then in the third one, I'm sorry, you build the porta john in the third one with the alternate build 
with the plumber's truck or the plumber's van. So let's take a look at the van. Now I really like this van guys. I mean it's got everything on it. It's got the tools right there. You got a wrench. You got a hatchet in case you need to bust up some old pipe. It's got the, that's a panel. Nice windshield. Give it a 360. You got the Joe's plumbing. And if you look right there, of course, if it's a business in Lego, it's Octans, Joe's Plumbing. Probably could have showed you that easier on the side right there. But that is a sticker as well as that. Stickers, here's a sticker for the license plate. And unlike most sets, that 11256, I don't know what that is. I mean, I would usually they put the set number on license plates. I'm going to assume that LS is probably still the set designer, maybe. But I don't know what that 11256 is. You actually get two of those. There's one on the front and one on the back. And so we take a look at this side. Now this side has a door that opens and that is supposed to be a rotor rooter or a drain snake. If you guys ever seen that when your pipes are clogged, they take that and it has a like a like a heavy duty metal uh it looks like, a, I mean, it's a snake. It's a metal snake. It's bendable. It's flexible. It goes down your drain and has some teeth on the end. Breaks up whatever's in there and frees your drain up. Then you got this door that opens and closes. You got some more tools on this side. Another wrench. That's so both guys can have a wrench. And this is actually a hammer or a maul. Then on the back you have another open door. And you see it's got two plungers in there ready to go. The only problem is you can't get those plungers out through this door. You actually have to take them out through the roof. So let's look at the roof. So you have your ladder. And I'm going to assume this is some pipe. So you can go replace some pipes. And then the roof comes off. Really nice. Nice little build there. It actually can go either way. Doesn't matter. And then you can look inside there. And you can see you can put your driver in the seat. There's the rotor rooter or the snake like I told you. And... There's the plungers. So it's kind of a, I mean, it's a really good build, really fun build. It's not the main build, but it's really nice. I mean, you could actually build one of these without all the plumbing stuff, and it would be a nice little van in your city. But I like this one. I'm going to keep this one as the plumber's van. Got to have a plumber in your city, so why not? So let's take a look at the rest of it. Let's look at the flying flusher. Alright guys, so here is the flying flusher. Now this is the main build of the set. And I gotta tell you, of the three that I have that are two-in-ones, I have the, uh, the ice cream machine and I have the trash chomper. This is the flying flusher. This one is actually my favorite of those three. I still like the plumber truck better, but this one is actually a functioning airplane. So this one makes a lot more sense than the other one. So we'll give it a 360 here. Got the side view, you got the wings there with the uh, water cannons. Pretty cool. You got the plunger shooter on top. You got the cockpit right here. This is for the gunner. The cockpit's actually right here where you would drive the plane or fly the plane from. And then back here would be your gunner shooting out those, those plunger torpedoes, darts. Uses the ladder for the rear wing. It's got the rudder right there. It's really a cool looking plane. As I break it, as I turn it. And then on the front here, it's got the propeller. It uses the tools. You got three uh, mauls there. Or actually, you got an axe and two mauls or hammers. Pretty nice looking deal. And then, of course, you've got the flick fire missiles plungers and it comes with three of those as that one bounced in now I gotta find the bottom to it got the top but I gotta find the bottom so we've got that back on there and as you can see you got two spares right here they're just on arms just clipped on uh, these this opens right here see if I can get this open Get my trusty brick separator. It's almost got like a spring action to it, but it's not a spring. And that just shows you can open up both sides. 
And there's actually some bars in there. I guess, I don't know, is that the guts of the plane? I don't know what the purpose of that is. Somebody can help me out. Maybe that's supposed to be a prison. But all in all, this is a pretty cool looking airplane. And you know, like I say in all these videos, if I was to give you the plumber's truck, take it apart, and tell you to build me an airplane, I'd be pretty impressed if you came up with this. Now this does come off, this roof assembly comes off so you can get into the cockpit and you can get your driver or your flyer in there. So like I said, overall this is a pretty cool build. So that's it for the plane, for the flying flusher. So let's wrap it up. Let me give you my final thoughts. Alright guys, so that's it. That's my review of set 70811, the flying flusher. Like I said, you get a lot with this set. You get this micromanager that I forgot to put in the screen. Don't really like those guys, but they do come with the sets. So, some good extra parts. This set has 351 pieces, so it's a it's a $30 set with more than 300 pieces, and it has three minifigs. I mean, to me, that is a great, great bargain. It's got two builds, so you can tear it apart. You can build two different things with it. Really like this set, guys. I like all these movie two-in-one sets. I haven't built the Knights, whatever that night set is, but I do have it. Maybe I'll build it and review it. But this is a really cool set, guys. I suggest you get it. I suggest you get out there and get it now before the end of the year. You might be able to find it for $25, which is even a better price for this set. So that's it, guys. I really like this one. Tell me what you think. You like it? Do you have it? I like that pot of gold. I know Brixar likes that pot of gold. He loves toilets. So give me a thumbs up, guys, and like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all of my playlists. Check out my mocks, guys. Go see what I'm building. Check out my hauls. You can follow me on Instagram at Mardi Gras Man 23 And you can check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.